And if she asks you why, you can tell her that I told you that I'm tired of castles in the air. I've got a dream I want the world to share, and castle walls just lead me to despair. Hills of forest green where the mountains touch the sky. A dream come true. I'll live there till I die. I'm asking you to say my last goodbye. The love we knew ain't worth another try. Save me from all the trouble and the pain. I know I'm weak, but I can't face that girl again. Tell her the reasons why I can't remain. Perhaps she'll understand if you tell it to her plain. Oh, but how can words express the feel of sunlight in the morning in the hills? Away from city strife, I need a country woman for my wife. I'm city born, but I love the country life. For I cannot be part of this cocktail generation partner's waltz. Devoid of all romance, the music plays, and everyone must dance. I'm bowing out, and I need a second chance. Save me from all the trouble and the pain. I know I'm weak, but I can't face that girl again. Tell her the reasons why I can't remain. Perhaps she'll understand if you tell it to her plain. And if she asks you why, you can tell her that I told you that I'm tired of castles in the air. I've got a dream I want the world to share, and castle walls just lead me to despair. I'm Annie and I sing a cappella, and that was Castles in the Air. It was written by Don McLean and also sung by him and was released as his first American single in 1970. The original version was also included on his album Tapestry, and then a later version was on... Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> now all of a sudden I cannot remember the album. It, he did a later version in 1981, but I don't remember what album that appeared on. You may know of Don McLean as the writer of American Pie. Not the movies, but the song about the day the music died. Um, obviously, that's a completely different song, but I found a couple... Well, one interesting tidbit. Uh, most people know about February 3rd, 1959, which was the plane crash in which Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper, or J.P. Richardson, died along with their pilot, Roger Peterson, in Clear Lake, Iowa. Don McLean is the one who coined it as the day the music died in his song American Pie. Um, the interesting and sad tidbit that I found about it was that Buddy Holly's young wife, I believe her name was Maria, but I forgot to write that down. They had only been married for approximately six months, I believe. She was pregnant at the time of the plane crash, and she learned about the plane crash and, subsequently, her husband's death via the news broadcast. And she ended up suffering a miscarriage from the emotional grief. And because of the way she found out, it was... At that point, that police across the country adopted the policy to not release victims' names to the public until families had been informed. Um, so, obviously a very sad occurrence, but the visibility of her family at that time allowed for other people to be informed properly and given that respect. So... I thought, I just thought that was an interesting tidbit. Anyway, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, drop a like. I haven't done that spiel in forever. I'm sorry. Someone said it was irritating when people do that. And, like, I get that. But at the same time, I mean, drop a like, maybe, if you liked it. I hope you did like it. 
And I also hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye. She later suffered a miscarriage. There is my dog barking at the most inopportune time. How rude. Okay, Rocky, I hear you. I hear you. Anyway.